Hey everyone, this is Chase with Priority Bicycles and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about Ragbri before you get out there and start riding. If you're looking into riding Ragbri, I'm sure you have some questions on what is, what it's like and what to expect. Here at Priority, we're big fans of the event and have some experience doing the ride and can help you getting out to Iowa for one of the best cycling experiences out there. The Register's annual Great Bicycle Ride across Iowa started in 1973 by two riders from the Des Moines Register, John Kara and Donald Paul, as a challenge that became a large bicycle ride with 300 people joining them on the very first ride. The second year was coined SAGBRAI, which was a much bigger success and a more organized event. Since then, it stayed RAGBRAI and became the largest bike touring event in the world. 2023 was the 50th annual RAGBRAI, drawing 60,000 riders across Ames, Iowa to Des Moines. RAGBRAI is for the most part what it's described as, a six day bike touring event riding from the western border to the eastern border of Iowa, but there's so much more to it than that. If you want to do it, load it up with a tent and ride from town to town and camp at each night to wake up as early as possible and finish as early as possible, you can. If you wanna take out a road bike or a triathlon bike and zip through the routes as quickly as you can, you can. If you're looking to ride party pace with your friends and meet new people, you can also do that. If you wanna stop at every brewery event and eat and drink nonstop for six days and having every day night uh, end at 11 o'clock, you can do that. Chug, 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 chug. Small sip. The best way to describe Ragbri is a week-long party on a bike that you can participate in as little or as much as you prefer. But isn't Iowa just flat and full of cornfields? No, that is a huge misconception about Iowa if you've never been. You will see so many shirts and cycling jerseys with the phrase, Iowa is not flat. While you won't feel like you're climbing the Swiss Alps, the roads are far from flat and consist of beautiful rolling hills with some steeper passes to ride through from time to time. Now, is there a lot of corn? Yes, Iowa has lots of corn. In fact, 23 million acres of Iowa is allocated to corn and soybean crops. Most of this is for livestock, but obviously it's used for sweet corn as well as ethanol fuel. The corn is expansive, but beautiful and smells wonderful, especially if you're coming from a larger city like I am. As an added bonus, most stopover towns will have fresh sweet corn for free for you to eat. The corn. The, the corn, corn really good. did slap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And if you're looking to get a little bit nerdy, some vendors will explain how corn is utilized in everyday life and how big of a role Iowa plays in that. So how is the ride? Well, the ride itself is obviously beautiful and a blast to be a part of. Almost the entire route will be paved with small chances of dirt paths being along the way. The route is made so that anyone on any bike will be able to complete it. So if you're that super skinny aero road bike person or the big tire beach cruiser, you will be just fine. Every year the route changes and ends up being around 500 miles across six days. Some days you'll only be doing 40 miles, but some days it'll be getting closer to 80. However, don't worry about the longer distances. There are kids that do RAGBRAI as well as people much older. It's not uncommon to find people who did the very first RAGBRAI still doing this event 50 years later. At any point, if you feel like you can't complete the day, no issue. There are support vehicles that'll help you get to the next overnight town so that you can take a breather. But trust me, if you just put your mind to it and keep those pedals turning, you'll be able to do it. When the routes are announced, there are usually optional alternatives that will pop up. Usually there'll be a day for gravel for those who are looking for a break from the road and want to get their bikes a little bit more dirty. There's also options for longer loops, so if you're looking to get a couple extra miles in, that's also available. If you aren't into either of those things, don't worry, they're completely optional and you can't just accidentally get on them. One thing you don't have to worry about is traffic. Ragbri is fully supported 100% of the way, Smaller roads will be fully at your disposal to ride freely, and some of the larger highways will have lanes blocked off to traffic in specific instances for cyclists to ride. Each day is very specific route, and the Iowa State Troopers will be helping divert traffic away from the route as much as possible. Most of the vehicles passing you will be support or emergency vehicles, and the occasional passerby cheering you on. So what is there to do besides riding your bike and camping? Well, Ragbri is a huge deal for Iowa. The whole state gets involved, and since the route changes every year, the stopover towns will be very into this. Even if the people themselves aren't riding, people who live along the route will be out on their lawns cheering you on and sometimes have stands with food, water, Gatorade, pickles, PB&Js, whatever people want to bring out for you. People will also open up their lawns to set up pools and slip and slides. Breweries will even set up in people's lawns to have cookouts and serve beer and other drinks. One of the best parts of Ragbri is getting able to stop on your bike and see the crazy parties going on on the side of the road. 
each stopover town will have vendors up so you can refuel and the, a lot of the restaurants and bars will also be open but be prepared for some pretty significant wait times and get ready for a get in and go experience. Now, if you've never been to Iowa or the Midwest, you may be wondering what that's like. Well, Iowa is a gorgeous state with tons of fresh air and beautiful vistas. The people there are as kind as they come from the bigger cities to the rural farms and the Amish communities, everyone there is exceptionally friendly and welcoming, and it's known as Iowa nice because the people care about their community so much. And the fact that they have an opportunity to meet people from around the world all coming together for the same reason, you won't find anything else like it anywhere else. Now, if you wanna know anything more about us at Priority, you can check out our website below. We are a low maintenance focused bicycle brand that is all about being into the communities and supporting events like Ragbri. And if you need more info on Ragbri, their website will also be linked below so you can find out all of the stuff going on for that particular year that you're looking to ride. We have a playlist for all the videos about Ragbri here on our YouTube channel, so if you wanna check those out, please do. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you out there.